What's up guys, I'm Warren. And I'm Derek, and we're the brothers of Divine AV. Today we got something super special for you guys. We are comparing these the SPL 120 and the new one that's gonna take its place. Warren, you wanna get us into that a little bit? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, these are two amazing subwoofers. This is the older unit, the SPL 120, that's gonna be going out, it's getting discontinued, and this is the all new Reference Premier 1200SW. This is completely replacing this old unit, so this would be off the market. If you guys see them out there, you can still pick them up right now. We do have a few ourselves. All right, so this video, we're gonna to try to figure out, if you guys already have one of these, should you move to the new unit and scrap the old one, sell that thing, or if you've got some other subwoofer, would you consider purchasing this brand new unit or getting a good deal on one of these guys out on the market? Um, we're going to go over aesthetic changes in this video. We're going to look at the specs. We're going to do full amp and dyno testing, and then we're going to give you our final thoughts on it. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the aesthetic changes first. Derek's going to take that away. Get it going. All right, guys, let's first get into the aesthetic changes they've made with these uh, subwoofers. Uh, first of all, they added this matte finish, which is cool. If you're like me and you like to show off your uh, copper drivers, uh, it's kind of nice to be able to watch the movie and not get that glare back from, you know, a little bit of gloss veneer finishes on, that's on here. Uh, obviously, a, another big change is they rounded this sub off. Now, the reason I like this is that uh, the old sub, this one's a couple years old, it's been in our shop. Uh, the veneer starts to peel up a little bit. Now that it's rounded, you have a solid sheet of veneer. So that's, that's probably not going to happen uh, with this new subwoofer. So we do like that they're rounded like that. Uh, the ports, as you can see, they got a little bit smaller. Warren will get into that um, in a little bit with uh, specs and whatnot. Obviously, it's uh, they, they made it a lot <laughs> bigger for this box, which he'll get into that more. Uh, they added these gold pegs or these uh, rose gold pegs, which is a big deal because I've actually had these plastic ones pop off. It's nice that they have uh, the metal that's on there now. Obviously, the drivers are very similar. I do like that they added this uh, matte rubber around this one where you could see the screws before. Uh, we'll get into grills really quick here. So, yeah, you have more of a basic grill that goes off the 120. Uh, they've made it a lot meatier, as you guys can see now, uh, just from the width alone. So it's just nice to see a build like quality that has stepped up so much from Klipsch. They've really changed the game with their new sub. And uh, we're, we're, we're excited to show you guys what they're doing to beat the old subwoofer. <laughs> All right, guys, so we'll flip them around to the back, then I'll hand you on over to my brother. That, I'll take the little one. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> what 70 versus yeah you'll get into that <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get into specs in a second but yeah it's a huge last difference little bit place. of aesthetics guys we talked about this in our last video if you guys saw it um the knobs obviously super cool that they went to this uh little magnifying glass and these white mm -hmm. knobs versus you know the generic old stuff where you know this one only went to 10 it goes to 11 now let's uh find out why <laughs> go ahead Warren. let's get it going Hey guys, uh, thanks for, for tuning into this one real quick. If you guys gain any value or you enjoy this content, you wanna see some other cool content, uh, please consider subscribing to our channel. It really helps us out a lot. It helps us grow and helps us keep creating awesome content for you guys. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get right into the specifications. All right, so um, obviously we've seen a huge weight increase, you know, because this is a big bad boy now, and you know, this, these are a little bit smaller subs. You can't get a lot of power, a lot of dB, a lot of SPL um, with a smaller box, so they really stepped it up. It's good to see them doing that. So this new subwoofer is about 69 pounds. The previous one is 45 pounds, so huge difference there. As far as uh, box size overall, so the older sub is like 18 by 15 by 20 roughly inches, and the 1200 is now 19 by 17 by 26. Uh, power. All right. So, so as far as power wattage output, so you have 300 watts RMS on the old one, 400 watts on the new one, uh, 600 watt peak and 800 watt peak on the new one as well. Um, and then you, you've got the uh, the older unit digs down to about 24 hertz. So it's its range is about 24 to 125. The new one digs all the way down to 16.5 hertz, and then it goes up to 138. So much more range on this woofer. Uh, it's very dynamic. It's very punchy. So I think you guys are really going to like the numbers on this. Um, we'll, we'll see what what it puts out in just a little bit here. You still have the wireless capability. Uh, you have the ability to connect the wireless to one source and then connect the hardwire to another source in case you're using it for like a stereo setup and a full surround setup. So that's a really cool change. As far as the woofers go in the front. Uh, help. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right. So as far as woofers go, I'll show sheer size in a second from their width point. For sure, yeah, we'll show that in a second. So you have that new long throw woofer. This is entirely redesigned. I know, I know they look similar, but this is an ultra long throw woofer. Really high excursion on the unit, so big, big improvements there. Size, like Derek mentioned earlier, 
Um, so this has a little bit of a taller port on the SPL 120. Moving to the 1200, it's a little bit more narrow and it's wider. So that kind of port chuffing that you get, like that noise that you get when you're really playing a sub very high in those lower levels, that's severely reduced in this new unit because that was kind of a thing these were known for. They were kind of plagued with that just because of the box size and the port size. That port um, flutter was bad. That port flu yeah, you call it port flutter, port chuffing. Um, you know, so that's kind of eliminated. Like Derek said, let's check out the side profile. Yeah. <laughs> And I really like that because the footprint itself is not that much bigger. So when you're looking at them, you know, like under your screen or whatever, or under your TV, it doesn't appear to be that much bigger, although it's a significantly larger box because they went with that depth. Now that 1400, we'll, we'll see that in the next video. Of course, yeah, we do have the 1400. We're yeah. using it right now as a stand yes. for some of our equipment. Yeah, that is for you guys oh, that it's... don't care about the size. And then the 1600 is the, another video that we'll do as soon as we get our hands on one. For sure, yeah. So it, it was an absolute uh, animal. Derek was like, it lifted his whole body when he was <laughs> when he was trying to lift that 1400 up on a on a dolly earlier um, all right so we're gonna get into that but let's go ahead and do some uh, dyno testing some SPL testing we're gonna actually open these amplify open these units up show you the inside of them and then we're gonna show you how much power each one of these amplifiers actually puts out RMS let's get it going yep let's do it let's go So the first thing we're going to do is the uh, dyno test on the SPL 120 amplifier. So let's see what kind of power this thing can put out. Will it hit that 300 watt number? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run a test at 7 on the gain knob. Then we'll crank it up to full after a 30 second pause and we'll see what it can output. Okay, Derek, tell us about the sweep. So, yeah, I'm getting everything hooked up here. Um, so yeah, our sweep is gonna be a 10 to 150 hertz sweep uh, for about three seconds. And uh, we'll be maximum output. We're, uh, we'll start at about 70% volume, as Warren said. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll, we'll crank it up and see if we can push this thing to the max afterwards. So we'll do two runs on this. Let's get it going. Three, two, one. Awesome. Wow. Yeah, 320. Yeah, yeah 320 uh, at 5.2 ohms. Definitely best um, test we've had so far. That's awesome. So that thing was able to put out, um, you know, that true RMS, uh, right. that that rating, a true RMS rating. So let's push it. Let's push it a little harder. Let's take it all the way up. Return the gain up. Obviously, you get a little bit of distortion here. Let's yeah. just see max power output. You guys aren't going to run yours at max. Let's just see what this thing puts let's out. Let's see it can do. Three, two, one. Hit it. 310. So basically, kind of your max is right about 70% on them. Seven either way. Yeah, and that's, that's typically where we run these things anyway. Yep. And you'll see a little bit of a, a wattage drop as these things heat up so that, you know, so everything just heated up a little bit. If we let it cool for another 30 seconds, we should be able to get that same power output. All right, so let's move on to the uh, RP1200SW amplification dyno test. Let's see what this thing can put out. Will it hit that 400 watt RMS rating uh, that Klipsch claims on this sweep? So let's get it going. I can take. Yeah, guys, so it was really cool to see from uh, that SPL120 that Klipsch is uh, no bullshit and they they say they put out 300 watts and they put out 320, so it's good to know they're testing. All right, second test. Warren, you want to bring us into this? All right, guys, yeah, so this is the uh, RP1200SW amplification dyno test. Let's see what kind of RMS output this can do. First, we're going to set it at 7 on the volume knob, on the gain knob on the back. So we're at setting it to LFE and at 7. Let's see what it puts out. All right, guys. And the wires are super short, just so you guys know. We're not going to try to splice into the back of the sub here, so that's why we're having to set the meter right on top of the amp. But sweep, dyno testing in three, two, one. There's a sweep. All right, so we pulled 380 at 5 ohms, so definitely more power than the previous generation. We're going to crank it all the way up to 11 now and see if we can do one more sweep. Let's let the coil and everything cool for about 30 seconds here. We'll do one more sweep. So we've now waited the 30 seconds. Everything's cooled down. And we're gonna hit it. Dyno testing at 11 on the gain. In three, two, one. Hell yeah, that's There it goes, there it goes, guys. 
We had a 98. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we can't hit that 400 number. <laughs> yeah, 398, yeah, I'll yeah, take it. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to take that. Um, but about 80 watts higher than its predecessor. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, that's no, just pure wattage. We're not yeah. talking about, you know, frequency and SPL level in the room. So For that's, sure, that's yeah. I mean, still, some still output. it put out some serious power. 398 was the best number we were able to achieve. Um, so really, really close to two watts off of that number that they're that they're claiming there, and that's with the sweep. Now you will get those peak hits, those really hard punches. There'd be more than that, um, you know, when you're when you're actually playing an action film because you can get that peak wattage oh, on yeah. these things. Um, but you know, your continuous is going to be you know uh, right at about 400 watts. Yeah. Just you guys, uh, you got to bear in mind, Klipsch has their super lightweight, super efficient driver. So 400 watts to this driver is a lot more than other drivers out there on the market. Yeah, he's talking about like. Four full SPL output in the space. You know, you've got that efficiency of the super lightweight ceramatolic drivers. You can push a lot of air with these things. Right. I gotta tell you, it is extremely loud back here during the <laughs> testing. Yeah, so, all right, let's get into some SPL testing around the front. Now you guys keep in mind that this is obviously, it's sitting on a table in a room here. Your room is going to, uh, you know, create a totally different curve than ours does. You're gonna put out different SPL uh, levels. This is just kind of give you a good comparison between the two. And we're just gonna set the dB meter at one meter and just see what kind of power output or see what kind of SPL we can achieve. Let's get it going. All right, guys, so we are now doing the uh, SPL 120 uh, bass test with some music. We're gonna hit the same song as the RP uh, 1200, and then Derek, you got it set at about what? 50%, six, I'm gonna 50%. crank it a little bit. I'm gonna push it until we get no, no chuff. Go for it. All right, guys, so if you got some value out of that and if you're really enjoying this, this type of testing, this is extensive subtesting, just to give you guys a good idea, you know, are the manufacturers putting true statements out there? You know, are the power ratings accurate? Uh, if you're getting value out of that, you know, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you on this journey with us. We'd love to have you as part of our family here. If you guys are looking to pick any of these products up or looking for professional home theater design or home automation design, you definitely want to give us a call. Even if you're out of state, we can help you with design. We can help you with a lot of products. Uh, definitely give us a call, 214-600-4144. All right, let's get into it. All right, so what do you think, man? Uh, I mean, I think it kicked its ass. Um, I, I mean, it's 20, 30% easily better uh just all around um you know it puts out similar but it, it, at the end of the day it doesn't have the biggest problem they fixed was that chuff that that's for has, sure has always been that port flutter has always been a huge pet peeve of ours like we can't crank these subs up past like 60 or 70 percent being able to do that with the new sub that's a night and day difference for sure for sure um, yeah it's just it's so much tighter it's so much more accurate and to not have that <laughs> Yeah, that was the room. biggest thing. Yeah, I mean, it's just chamber space. It wasn't big enough. Klipsch is pushing the envelope, as you guys see. It. For sure. You know, they've never made a sub that wasn't, a, you know, square, essentially. This thing, uh, it... They were like maybe a little scared to put this giant footprint, but honestly, if you want SPL, you want size, you want power, this is your guy. For sure, for sure, yeah. So, and, and for those of you that don't really know, the chuffing that we're talking about is, it's an audible noise that comes out of this port, you know? So you hear this like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so like, it, let's say you're watching, you know, Godzilla or something like that, and there's a huge explo you know, explosion or big vibration, something yeah. like that. You'll hear this kind of aftermath. You get the vibration here, <laughs> this noise from the sub. Yep. And, and it's really cool to see that they've almost entirely eliminated it from this unit. Um, it's just boxes a little bit small, really 
really powerful driver because oh, as yeah. we've seen it's pretty similar 100%. Um, you know so like he was saying so i, I agree i mean yeah. spl output is about the same um, but it's the quality of the output that has improved so dramatically on oh these, yeah right? we're, we're so happy to see them fix this too because uh, we've been with clips for about seven years now and uh we've been you know complaining about this for for the to the engineers because we know for Roy sure. personally we've been you, saying for a while that they, uh, you guys got to fix this issue and, and, and you know what guys the, these are more than two years in the making just so you guys know so this oh, yeah. the, the r and i mean they have been really really pushing uh they've been testing these things they've tested against all the competitors on the market they've made sure that they're bringing a very high quality product to market it's an all new sub from start to finish oh, it yeah. really doesn't take anything from this yeah worth every penny of the thousand dollars for sure honest, for sure yeah. just just a huge improvement and we've been a huge fan of these how many have we sold oh yeah uh, uh, a countless uh, yeah between probably uh, 700 and 1500 <laughs> yeah. yeah if you guys are looking to pick one up yeah. in your local the area you know give us a ring or stop by our showroom here in frisco sure. um also i mean if you don't have anything else uh, on that you anything else to add yeah no just yeah you know love love what they're doing i uh, love to see them pushing the envelope and uh and and you know really finally competing with a lot of the big sub brands out there you oh, know yeah. we've been waiting for that you know klipsch they, they've got a really good speaker lineup and it's good to see that you know finally they're ready to get out there and, yeah. and play with the big boys you know cool. so it's awesome yep uh, if you guys enjoyed this video or uh, you got any good content, please give us a like. It helps us out a lot. And uh, consider subscribing. And yep. check out some of our other videos. We have a 1400 SW testing coming up very soon. And, um, you know, check out some of our big home theater tours and whatnot on our channel. Um, we have a lot of tech with the tech stuff. So stay tuned for more, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Take it easy. Uh